This is Geometry Semester 2 Final Study Guide Review. Oop, sorry. All right. Uh, number one, if two polygons are similar, then their corresponding sides must be proportional. Number two, if two polygons are similar, then the corresponding angles must be congruent. Number three, a rectangle has a length of 12 millimeters. A similar rectangle is drawn using a scale factor of one to three, or you could also say one third. What is the length of the second rectangle? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is draw my rectangles. There's my first one with a 12, 12 millimeter side. And then I'm gonna draw one that's smaller because one to three or one third is a reduction. I just don't know how big that side is. So I could set up a proportion and say, x over 12 equals 1 over 3, cross multiply, divide, and get that x equals 4 millimeters. Another way to solve this would be to take 12 times 1 third. You're going to get the same answer. Make sure you're using units. All right. Number four, find the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle given the Give an approximation to two decimal places. All right, so I have a right triangle and I've got two sides to find the third side. I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, I'm going to label my sides and then just plug those in. So c squared equals 6 squared plus 8 squared. And then I'm going to solve that. And I get that c squared equals 100. Well, I don't want c squared. I want c, so I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and I get that c is 10 centimeters. A city commission wants to construct a new street that connects Main Street and North Boulevard, as shown in the diagram below. So you can see that the new street is the dashed one. The construction cost has been estimated at $120 per foot. Not per mile, but per foot. Find the estimated cost for, the constructi for constructing the street. And then they give us a conversion factor to change miles to feet. Because the information they give us on this diagram is in miles. Well, first I want you to see that this is a um, right triangle. And knowing that one road is four miles and the other is nine miles, the new road, I can find that length by using the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to label my sides of my triangle and I'm going to put that information into my thing and I get, or into my formula and I get that c squared equals 97. Well, I don't want c squared, I want c, so I'm gonna take the square root of both sides and I get that my new street is gonna be square root of 97 miles long. Well, the reason I'm not going to turn this into a decimal right now is because I would have to round. So I'm just going to leave it as a square root of 97 and change it to feet. So I'm going to take square root of 97 miles times the conversion factor of 5,280 and then I'm also going to multiply that by $120 per foot. And I get that this road should cost approximately $6,240,236. Which makes sense. A new road would cost about six million dollars. The tangent of angle A is, well remember that tangent of an angle is the length of the opposite side over the adjacent side. So looking at angle A, my opposite is seven and my adjacent is square root of 95. So I'm going to put those into uh, a ratio. So tangent of A is seven over square root of 95, but you should remember that we can't do square root of 95 in the denominator, so we're gonna rationalize that denominator and get square root, or tangent of A equals seven square root of 95 over 95 or you could also turn it to a decimal. 
Now I want you to use your calculator to find the cosine of 47. So you're going to find the cosine button, and then you're going to type in 47 and hit the enter button, and you're going to get 0 0.682. Find the sine of B. So I'm going to do the same thing here that I did on uh, problem 6. Remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. When I look at B, the side opposite is 15. My hypotenuse is 17 because that's the side opposite my right angle. So I'm going to put that sine of B equals 15 over 17. And if I change that to a decimal, that's going to give me 0.8. 8824. The tangent of angle A is the ratio, well hopefully you remember tangent is opposite over adjacent. A fire truck's ladder, a fire truck's ladder 100 feet, 120 feet long, extended to the side of an apartment building and it makes an angle of elevation of 68 degrees with the ground. How high up the apartment building does the ladder reach? Well, let's draw a representation of this where we have our apartment building and our 120 foot ladder and our 68 degree angle of elevation. I want you to see that this, and what I wanna know is how far up the building does this go? I want you to see that this is a right triangle and therefore I can use um, all my tools of right triangles. And in this case, I've got one side and I want to know another. I'm going to use one of my trig functions. Um, opposite, x is my opposite side from my angle 68. And I know that 120 is my hypotenuse. So the trig ratio that uses that is sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to say the sine of 68 degrees equals x over 120. Now to solve this, I'm going to put sine of 68 over 1, so it forms a proportion, and then I'm just going to cross multiply. And I get, and put it in my calculator, and I get that it is approximately 111 feet up the side of that building. On number 11, solve for x to the nearest degree. Now notice on this one, they're not asking me to find a side length, they're asking me to find an angle, so degree. So I'm going to use an inverse of one of my trig functions. Well, from the angle that I have circled, I know that 8 is my opposite and 11 is my hypotenuse. So remember that sine uses opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to say the sine of angle x equals 8 over 11. But I don't want the sine of angle x, I want x. So I'm going to do the inverse of sine to get x by itself. And I have to do the inverse on the other side. When I plug that in my calculator, second sine 8 over 11, I'm going to get, and then round to a whole number, I'm going to get that x is a 47 degree angle.